Now let us try to understand pseudo force. When the free body diagram of a body is drawn with respect to an inertial frame of reference, we show only real forces. Forces which are actually acting on the mass. When the free body diagram of an object is drawn with respect to a non-inertial frame of reference, which is also called accelerated frame of reference. A pseudo force has to be applied in addition to all real forces. Always remember the direction of this pseudo force is opposite to the direction of acceleration of the reference frame. So if a lift is accelerating upwards with an acceleration say A0, MG will be acting down, the pseudo force MA0 will be acting opposite to the acceleration of the reference frame. Same way, if a lift is accelerating downwards, weight will be acting downwards, the pseudo force will be acting in the upward direction. Okay, in this frame of reference. Same way, if a car is accelerating forward, the pseudo force in this frame of reference will be in the backward direction. If the car is accelerating backward, the pseudo force in this frame of reference will be in the forward direction. So pseudo force always acts in a direction opposite to the acceleration of the reference frame. Please remember the direction of this pseudo force has got nothing to do with the direction of acceleration of the body. It is the direction of the acceleration frame that is important. Pseudo force always acts opposite to the direction of acceleration of the reference frame. Pseudo force. Fp vector is equal to minus m a0 vector where Fp vector is the pseudo force, a0 vector is the acceleration of the reference frame and f is the mass of the body under consideration. So this is what is pseudo force, it has to be applied in addition to all real forces when you take the non-inertial frame of reference or an accelerated frame of reference.